Okay, so I want to talk about the 404 page. And with Encore, we can now turn that 404 page into something more than it has been able to be. So first off, if you don't know what a 404 page is, you can click on the link. But the 404 is just the generic error message. And so I have always envied people Absent custom coding, of course, because custom coding, you can do various different things, but we are going with the mindset of absent custom coding. And here you can see that the ability to have a really cool 404 page that is on brand and fits with your message and also directs people where they want to go makes so much sense. And now with Encore, you can do that. So the one of my favorites down here is the Pixar one. I think they hit the nail right on the head. So let's think about your 404 page. And when we're doing this, it's really important. I'm going to bring in the whiteboard. And the reason for that is when you are designing any of your pages in Encore, you want to make sure that um, each, that you know why you're putting what you're putting on the page. And so when you are planning out anything on your site, you've got to think about, okay, why? Why am I doing this? Well, they goofed. You know, it's an error message. So wherever they wanted to go when they were clicking, they didn't end up there. So they were expecting to be somewhere and they're not there. So when I'm thinking about this, I would like to put it down in specifics. And the reason for that is they just, you know, um, they landed on the unexpected. Now, if they were doing something that they were in a hurry, if your business is such that their time is really incredible, you know, crunched and they clicked and it's not there, think through those emotions because when you do that, you're really designing your user experience. And so you might be like, okay, they're shocked. They are confused. So that, just those little pieces what can we do to remedy that? So we can say, okay, you know, the remedy, just switching color over here to pink, is confirm, yes, this is a mistake. So that they know I, you are not supposed to be here. A link is broken, something went wrong. Yes, this is a mistake. That immediately snaps them out of, what is this and where am I and da da da, you know whatever else could be you know, going through their brain. So then you have to get them back to where you want them to be. So that for me is the what. You know, what do we need to have happen? Well, we need to go, <laughs> go back <laughs> to where they can start again. Because we have no idea where they are trying to go. We have no clue, it's a website. We don't know where they are going. So here, I always think about they're in a hurry, and they might not be, but if I cater to the person that's in a hurry, then everyone else is taken care of by default. So when we do that, then we say, okay, an easy click here. Now, depending on how your site is set up, and this is why it's so important to think through the design of the entire site, Think through if this is a non-subscriber, so maybe they heard a podcast and went to click on a link, maybe they watched a YouTube video and they went to click on a link. So where is it that this person needs to go? What is the best place that you can send them? Then I always think about, which sometimes happens, your veteran users, the people that you know, might be cust longtime customers, they clicked on a link, it sent them, eh, who knows where. So ideally, if you can take care of both of these customers in the same way, that's awesome. A lot of times, the answer to that 
is very often your Kajabi blog page. And the reason for that is most of us have the ability for people to opt in. So that takes care of these, the new people that might not be a subscriber. And on our blog page, we usually have the login avatar available. So if people were trying to get to their library to log in and get their courses, that really takes care of people. Now, if it's not your blog because you're not using a Kajabi blog, it doesn't make any sense, then that's all you need to think through is where can I send people and do I need to send them in different directions or can I send them to the same spot? So let's dive into Encore because you never want to go in trying to build if you wanna be productive and efficient with your time, it's always fun to wander around and play. But if you're going in saying, you know what, I have an hour or I have 30 minutes or I have two hours, you wanna go in with a roadmap. And that's where our whiteboard, our pen and paper always come in handy. So let's dive in to Kajabi. All right, once you are in Kajabi and you have Encore turned on or installed so that you're able to work with it, you want to go to your website and now we want to go to our 404 page so we're going to click on customize and the wonderful part is we can put whatever we want on this page keep in mind the person that landed on this page was expecting something else and this way when you keep that in mind you're like okay i don't need to take them on a tour of everything I just need to get them back to where they can navigate, then hopefully navigate to where they want to go. So like typical Encore, we have the ability to add sections. So right here, I can add a section. I can put anything on this page. So you could put a video, you could put an image. That is where I really like looking at, and I'm very jealous because I don't know that I have a brand that lends itself very well to this as other brands might. But here it's, okay, what can I just quickly put on this page, get them back to where they're going, whatever it might be. And that is where when we are here, let's say it was a member, they could have a CTA. So this CTA can be trying to get into your library, log in here, trying to get into your library. Again, you just edit like we normally would. We'll click save. On the CTA, we're just gonna put our login. So this would be, you know, login now and then on the url you can either do the backslash library or you can put in the url i by habit just happen to do that most of the time i would have in this case it open in a new window and then click save so this way if there's a member they're trying to get in their library boom they're there now if i had someone that was you know coming from YouTube, which is where my um, people are typically finding me, then I can say, okay, what is the best, where should I send them? What should I do? So here in the custom section, down in the lower left-hand corner, if you add a custom section, which is one of my favorite blocks to build with, because here, voila, I can put in anything. So depending on what you've made with your roadmap, what you want to put in, where you want to send people. If you use the custom block, then you have all of these um, choices available to you. So if you have any questions, please let me know, but have fun with this because now with Encore as a site theme, you can really have fun with your 404 page and you don't need to custom code it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will talk to you again really soon. Bye.